Hi, I'm Julia from Growing Up Flat Borders, and I would like to welcome you guys to Omatepe. I'm going to explain to you guys kind of the pricing and how the tickets work to go in in case you're interested to know. That is Ometepe Island right there, right in the middle of Lake Nicaragua. You pay an entrance fee to come inside the port, which is a dollar each, and then you pay 50 cordobas, which is just over uh, like a dollar fifty, almost two dollars, to take the ferry across. And there's ferries. Um, I can put the link to the schedules just in case they change, but pretty much every hour your last ferry comes before sunset. So you have to make sure you are back on mainland if you are doing it in one day. Uh, last ferry is at 5.30. So this is the island. I'll explain to you some of the cool things to go see and do. So we have basically five to six hours or so here. This is what we're going to do. We're going to arrive from San Jose over here. We're going to see this at the very end. It's the Punta Jesus Maria, which has the most beautiful sunset. Then we're going to go and see this area here for the Papi Plantation. And then we're going to come back around and check out their beach, Playa Santa Domingo, and this beautiful water area. So these are the main things. And then we're going to see the two volcanoes as well. So. Here behind us that we're gonna take. Oh, she like said it looks like it's sinking. <laughs> Just as we were arriving, this guy jumps off the boat, takes the rope and secures it by hand as an anchor. The ferry ride to get here took us one hour. There's seating underneath where you can be out of the wind or where we were up top, which was super windy. Um, but yeah, it was a nice day, so. We are driving over the airport landing. us is a tobacco plantation right in front of the volcano. Right behind me is the volcano Concepcion and to hike up is eight hours in total to go all the way up and all the way down and this one is active and on the other side you go this way you're gonna see the lake over here. Is 
is Volcano Maderas, which is not active at all. And this one you can also hike up, and it takes six hours in total to go up and down. And um, one of them you do need a guide, so I think it's pretty hardcore up and down. So we just arrived here. This is called Finca Magdalena, and we are going to see, since it's a coffee plantation, if they have some coffee for us. Either way, it's a beautiful view here today. So just in a distance is Lake Nicaragua right behind us. Everything's so luscious and beautiful here. So there wasn't too much here. And um, I don't know, this not, it's not like there's like a coffee shop or anything that you can just like, you can enjoy coffee, but we're gonna go somewhere else and see what else the island has to offer us. The road to get here is quite wild. Where we just were at the coffee plantation, they were offering us either a tour uh, for coffee, like a tour, coffee tour, and uh, because we're here for one day, it's uh, we don't have that much time. And the other thing they were saying is you can go see this. So we just took a drive over to see this one, and basically this is from. Um, the people that, the originals, right, that were here, they're called Nahual, and this is kind of like their map that they have, and this here is, I believe, their cardinal points, I'm not exactly sure that I understood everything correctly, and they have also one like this inside of the um, church, so they have them in different locations. tell you here on the island are um, basically it's a must-see destination when you're coming to Nicaragua. It is located on within Lake Nicaragua and um, they do it's like a, a spot where you come and you just relax and you can go hiking and you can go swimming and you can do um, just kind of nature preserves and stuff like that so it's just like a rest and relaxation but it is one of their top destinations for people that come to visit Nicaragua. They do export a lot of things, so one of the main things is bananas, like you see behind me, these guys in the truck, that's what they're doing. And um, they grow tobacco, like we saw, the tobacco farm. And then uh, there's a lot of little coffee plantations here on the island as well. There are two more of these um, rock kind of art, I don't know what you call them, but that we're gonna go see. These are called petroglyphs, and they had them all over the island, everywhere. Some other things that they grow on the island are melons, rice, beans, and as well as sesame seeds. And if you don't know what Ometepe means, it means two mountains or two volcanoes, because Ome means two, and Tepe means like mountain. And it's in their native language, Nahuatl. We think we're pronouncing it correctly, don't we? Yeah. Let me tell you something. Here, at this time of the year, there's something called pika pika, which means itchy, itchy. And it's a flower, like a plant and it goes in the air and you don't see it because it has these little hairs, but it really makes you super itchy. And so people hang up their clothes outside, of course, and then you get this like itchiness when you wear your clothes. It's quite horrible. Right behind me on these, um, on this fence, they have every single country who has now visited the island of Ometepe. So here you can see they've tagged every country. To go up the mountain, there's a big beautiful lagoon up above, 8.9 kilometers from here, and um, that's the Maderas, so this is where you would come in. So a good three hours up and three hours down to go there. So you gotta get good walking shoes and lots of water, I guess. We found another one here, but we're not exactly sure what it is. What is it, Angelique? A mitten? I don't think they would have. I don't think they would know what a mitten is. 
in this country. It's a mine face. just went to go get their bathing suits on and I'll let them explain to you where we are and I'll take you on a quick tour. Where we just ate our little munchies in that little beach area it's called Playa Santa Domingo and it's a tiny little village and so just off of um, the road leaving there is this area here and it's called Ojo de Agua. The entrance fee to come in here is $5 each and um, you'll see it's just beautiful. We should have probably stopped here to get some food but we didn't know. Ojo de Agua is a natural spring pool filled with crystal clear water from the underground rivers that come from Volcano Maderas. It's basically a beautiful area and you're not going to want to miss it when you come to Ometepe. So they do have a swing, but what happened is that me and Ezra like slapped our backs, and I definitely do not recommend to go when it's not swinging. I, it's definitely better when it's swinging, because if not, when it's not swinging, you just go fall and you smack. Yeah, you have to somehow land hurts. feet first. Our last stop of the day was Punta Jesus de Maria to enjoy the most beautiful sunset. I heard from a friend of mine who saw you just the other day. So this here is Punta Jesus Maria. Now, it's been a long time since you've been around. Remember when we used to make the streets unsafe together, baby. Thanks for watching our tube. Omitipi. Please subscribe and don't forget to give us a big thumbs up.